When it comes to the Depp versus her trial, we can't ignore the fact that social media is largely involved. Like, everyone is talking about it and that soon enough, almost everyone in the world has updates coming in through tweets, IG stories, YouTube, and Facebook. This is why Amber Heard's team continues to condone people on social media as if it was their fault that they lost against Depp. Recently though, more content creators are getting called out for allegedly profiting from criticizing Amber. And while her team continues their quest to destroy every creator they deem pro Johnny Depp, these people on the internet are not ready to back down easily and are fighting to keep their freedom of speech and express what they think is right. So, what did Amber's team do against these content creators and how did they fight back and expose Amber's fake campaign? Let's find out. I think most of you have a list of YouTube personalities you click on to find the latest update about the ex-spouses. Guess what? Amber also has her own list. But not for good reasons. She is actually trying her hardest to get these content creators out of the picture. But it's not going the way she wants it to. Recently, her latest move against that umbrella guy backfired so much I wish she just skipped him instead. Matthew Lewis, better known as that umbrella guy online, is famed for his candid, no-filter approach to celebrity gossip. But now, Bot Sentinel CEO Christopher Boozy has criticized Lewis and his channel, alleging that he has a financial motive to keep the debt fee. Her conflict continuing as long as possible. For everyone's information, Boozy had been called out a couple of times for being one of Amber's minions, so fans weren't very impressed when he decided to rip into pro Johnny Depp accounts. This is where the backlash happened. After getting called out, that umbrella guy and other Depp supporters trended a certain hashtag to fight back. And yup, they succeeded. Boozy tried to counter them. But in the end, the number of people rallying to show their support for Johnny in social media is just overwhelming. After this, that umbrella guy once again slammed them through a tweet. In his tweet he said, at the end of the day, they're hired bullies trying to maintain control over people via buzzword narrative. They want you wearing a MSM leash, a corp killer, because they think they can leash you like dogs, and they'll dox, threaten, anything to maintain a power status quo. Other fans quickly echoed his sentiments, and Amber is once again receiving more negativity than her team planned. Another said, imagine being in the PR business and some random dude from YouTube does your job for free better than what you charge people for. Boozy will probably be boozy before lunch. Well, it seems like Amber's team needs another strategy if they really want to take down these avid Johnny supporters who are only doing what they are supposed to do. Nothing more, nothing less. How about you? Do you think Amber messed up big time? And how will this affect her possible appeal? Let us know in the comments below.